I keep hearing that my viewer thrives in controlled chaos. You are a person that leads through consistency, but when you get your inspiration, it is go time, baby, energy. You can feel the waves of your own emotions, others, uh, but you can see how the how spirit works to you through weather, especially too. When you're going through pivotal changes, you always notice thunderstorms and rain and etc. No matter where you are, take that as a resonance. If you're somewhere where it doesn't really rain at all, this then this means you see images of water or of thunderstorms, etc. just bring themselves to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful communication. And I'm hearing that this is a mix of a love reading and career. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get into this. What does this have to do with a love reading? I'm tired I'm trying to, I'm tired is what they wanted me to state, but this is what the card says. I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you. I'm tired of trying to distract myself from thinking of you. I can feel that magnetic pull towards uh, you. I'm running away because I don't want to hurt you even more. There is a person attached to you who, who's like, I'm ready to be vulnerable. And spirit almost made them feel ready to be vulnerable in a time where divine intervention would keep you to at bay if you will that's really the way it feels you see this person they they did go back and forth it was the it was an old timeline you shifted either the day before or yesterday if you had any experiences with owls in the past two days your timeline shifted this person 3D world things have made it to where you guys are going to have to take more time to be in a romantic or even in front of each other's lives. And this is for you, not to you. I keep hearing when I'm back. I keep hearing. Thank you for not giving up on me. Even though there were times you... You weren't sure what was going on in their head. You always felt this pull. When you felt your ego trying to tell you they're playing you. Or they don't like you anymore, etc. You know the difference. Between your mind trying to make something fit with somebody of the past. And then a connection like this. This person, this reading, it's resonating with you. The facts are adding up. You feel our eyes connecting. This person has never wanted to use you. Has never played you. They were afraid of being played as well. Because in a world where we have experienced so much hurt and people saw us in our life as games, you build a, you build a, a harness. A, you, you build a shell. And you both have. But that shell's broken. The telepathic connection between you two is immense. Immense. Right now, your souls are telling me that even though that there's a separation of physical distance, you're going to start talking more. And that would most realistically for a lot of you mean through texting, social media, etc. The thing is during this ki this communication, I, I see you two very much have done slow and steady wins the race. There's been months of not talking, then there's been days of nonstop talking, etc. But the reason that spirit is keeping divine intervention between you two is to release problems, to dissolve, to make sure you're not actually blocking a path of being together by moving too soon. This is to aid your spiritual development. And when you see each other again, you're going to be able to promote this playfulness and just allow the energy to flow. No one is ever going to replace the way and how I feel about you. This is all present tense energy right now. They understand. 
I'm telling you, spirits divinely protects you from things that are even meant for you so that it was received when you're both truly ready and it can flourish for whatever forever means to you. So I see the way that this is connected to a career reading. Most likely a lot of you that divine intervention that's been in place is that one of you had to move for a job or you just like to take the resonates. You guys separated from the same place of work and now it's not going to be as easy to see each other, talk to each other, etc. You could have been moving states for any reason. You could be moving towns for any reason, but the collective energy that is secured in this is that some one person had to move away from another. So part of the reason you two have not... It's not that you two haven't received wish fulfillment in this, but it's the reason why there's been so much telepathic connection and confirmation of wish fulfillment completely in the future with your dynamic. To keep the anxiety at bay. What do I need to know right now? It's not about the past. It's about right now. You've reflected a lot and you're not seeing this person in a nostalgic mindset even though they have separated for physical distance, etc. This is what's going on in their career. This person's had to have the courage to step away from either a home life, a position of work, and or both that was belittling them. That didn't promote them to stand up for themselves. And they're like, I, I'm not deserving of this. I have to be courageous. Nostalgia, right here. This person could still be in a state of nostalgia when it comes to you, but also, they it's almost like they were daydreaming about their past when they were before anything to do with love. This is career, remember. All I, I'm successful, but am I fulfilled? The the job they have, it it it's a good job, but they're like, this is not what I pictured myself doing. Not even in high school or college or etc. It's not about the actual job. It's like the way I feel. I pictured I would feel more fulfilled in whatever I was supposed to do. And I know that this, cer this certain area, the surrounding bosses or the actual field is not meant for me. Collective takes what resonates. They're seeing to make that dream come true. To continue their dream. To continue their timeline. They had to push forward and accept a new opportunity. What I'm hearing is that they're not necessarily a morning person. This is a very, very funny. Because it's this was so specific. They're not very much a morning person. But they've had to make themselves a morning person for a very long time in their job. And what i really see the swimming emotions between this is them finding a job that gives them balance they may still have to be a morning person depending on their job like they may still have to wake up early and etc but if they're fulfilled when they get off they feel relaxed and secured and they can wake up recharged the next morning or maybe this could sense i know who i am and and i i have to be more of an afternoon person that goes to work or etc to as it resonates what i no matter what what i see is them seeing i have to rearrange my schedule so i'm not so fucking uncomfortable anymore it was hard for them to, move, to make the decision to move, not only just away from you, but from everything that was their current normal. The sun and the star. Well, the sun always represents the masculine and the star always represents the feminine. And I see that as since this is like a, a career reading center focus now, they're finding the balance within themselves. I'm telling you, this is for further growth. They, they and you have so much to look forward to together, yes. But right now, what matters is you're doing everything for you. They're doing everything for themselves. There's no buddy trying to get in the way of you two. There's nobody that has the ability to get in the way of you two. Only your own egos and fears and parasites and assumptions can be that. And guess what? It's not happening. Your connection is expanding. 
lets this go so it can flow. And letting it go doesn't mean you don't talk. These are collective takes resonate. Some of you here are in different stages of the separation. A lot of you here, you're going to go into starting to talk back and forth. Like every couple of days, every day, every other day. Take it as it resonates, but it's organic. And just let it flow. Let it go. And be assured you already know. That's what I got for you today. And I would like to promote these beautiful crystals you see in front of me. And also, she she gave me Paula. Okay, I'll get to that. These beautiful crystals in front of me were gifted to me by one of my amazing followers. One of the people part of my collective. And her name is Heidi. Heidi's brand is called Noble Healing. She's an energy healer. She's a meditation guide. She's a life coach. And I do remember seeing this. Yes, she's a Reiki master. She, let me tell you something. These are powerful, real, raw, extremely affordable. You can tell by her professionalism, her authenticity, and her kindness. How much she's deserving of being supported how much her energy giving to the world she is deserving of receive. If you're feeling called to add any spiritual tools to your workshop, if you will, crystals, uh, sage, um, uh, Paulo Santo, she had amazing meditation bracelets and so much more. You should check her out. Her Instagram is noble underscore healing. Her website is www.noblehealing.love. And her email is info at noblehealing.love. I highly suggest you guys check her out. Thank you so much for these beautiful crystals. And, and this is another thing that made me see how authentic she was. Not only does she gift you the crystals, every single crystal, she sends a pamphlet of letting you know with a picture so you 100% know can match it up. To what it is. I don't know how many. I can tr truly say. Not many people have I seen do this. There are plenty that do. And it doesn't matter how many others did. When somebody goes above and beyond. And does stuff like this. It speaks millions. This is the energy I call the person. That cleans up themselves after the table when they go to a restaurant the person that puts their shopping their shopping cart away the person that goes above and beyond because of their authenticity because of their kindness because of their care behind their product they know that this is a product it's energy healing but you are a mutual gift check her out thank you so much for these beautiful crystals and that's what i got for y'all today if you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and send me a message at offprintmint.com. Message, uh, you can send me a message, an email. Only way to get a reading from me is going to the website and then it will send, there'll be a message that you send me through my email. It attaches, you just, you'll, you'll see what I mean. You go in there, book a reading. It's like you put your topic, your email, etc. You press send the message and then it's given to my email and then I end up emailing you back that is the only way to receive a personal reading from me i don't message people on any platform viva inbox and i don't ask people ever if they want a reading okay you gotta keep that in mind you gotta use your discernment with things that's what i got for you all today and i'll see you when i see you let's get it
Thank you.